in that chat. Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you at our Thursday presentation. And the topic of today's short lecture is Eke Tom. So um, it will be a general presentation about application of this device. So I'm going to share my screen with you now. Let's speak about the EHF therapy and um, what is EHF therapy. It is a method of treatment when mm, the body is exposed to electromagnetic radiation of millimeter range of extremely high frequency and low intensity. Membranes of cells in the body have their own frequencies within the range of 38 to 78 gigahertz. It is called extremely high frequency range. This range of frequencies connects all cells in our body into a single whole and allows us to, to maintain the state of health. So, um, as you see, the electromagnetic, uh, the EHF therapy is quite um, a multi purpose kind of therapy because it can be applied in almost all spheres of medicine. It is widely applied in neurology um, for treating such diseases as headaches, osteochondrosis, uh, vegetovascular dystonia, neurosis, diseases and injuries of the central nervous system, and so on. The EHF therapy is applied for otolaryngological diseases, um, for example, rhinitis, sinusitis, rhinosinusitis and otitis. It is widely used for treating diseases of pulmonology, uh, which means that uh, um, different diseases connected with lungs uh, can be cured with these frequencies. Uh, these are bronchitis, pneumonia, uh, but if a person catches a cold very often, the EHF therapy also helps. Then the diseases of dermatology can be also treated with the EHF, uh, such as dermatitis, eczema, neurodermatitis, psoriasis, and tropis, and any other skin diseases. Mm, also, diseases caused by infections and parasites are often used, uh, often treated with the EHF therapy. It can be opistrochiasis, hepatitis, uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome, influenza, and so on. Diseases and injuries of joints can be also treated with the EHF therapy, for example, arthrosis and arthritis. But if a person has any kind of bruises and fractures, uh, they also can be healed quicker if you apply the extremely high frequency. The pain in muscles um, can be also treated with the EHF therapy, no matter what is the reason of this pain. Various pathologies of the musculoskeletal system can be also treated with the EHF therapy. Uh, this can be scoliosis or any kind of postural disorder. And the EHF therapy is also widely applied for use in treating gastritis, gastric ulcer, and uh, duodenal ulcer, pancreatitis, and so on. What are the benefits of using the EHF therapy? First of all, it enables you to shorten the duration of the therapy and it helps you to, to recover quicker, no matter if you use it in combination with other R therapies as co-therapy or as a um, single therapy. The EHF therapy enables the patient to recover quicker. And uh, um, so we can say that it also raises the quality of therapy because it makes um, the effect of any other therapy for example, medical therapy, uh, therapy with medicine, uh, surgery, and so on, uh, more efficient. It also lowers the cost of treatment because um, it enables you to reduce the amount of medicine you take, and in some cases, even enables you to stop taking the medicine for some, after some period of time. The application of the EHF therapy enables the patient um, to lower the probability of relapses. So it, it can be also used as a kind of prevention so that the patient doesn't get the same disease again. 
as you have seen, these therapies really multifunctional. It can be used almost in case of any disease. So it's also one of the benefits of this therapy. And what is important, there are no allergic reactions to the EHF therapy, and there are almost no contraindications. There, there are really few. In this picture, you can see the influence of the EHF therapy on native blood. So the, um, the EHF therapy um, activates the existing resources of the organism and facilitates the adaptation and recovery processes. And as for the blood, um, as you know, the erythrocytes or the red blood um, cells deliver the oxygen to the organs and systems of our body. And when a person is young, we have a normal um, amount of erythrocytes. But when a person gets older, the concentration of the erythrocytes grows, uh, the blood gets denser, and uh, what is important, the, the number of dead red blood cells increases. So these dead cells stick to each other and create blood clots. The blood clots cork up small vessels and capillaries, and um, this is the reason of occurrence of thrombi. And as you know, the thrombi is the main reason of heart attacks and infarctions. So uh, you can apply the EHF therapy to liquefy the blood, to break the clots in the blood and um, to prevent their occurrence. So here on the left image, you can see the blood, cell, the blood cells before um, application of the EHF therapy. And on the right, you can see um, the condition of the blood cells after application of the EHF therapy for 10 days. As you see on the left, there are blood clots, and on the right, the erythrocytes are in normal condition. There are no clots anymore. And so the EHF therapy has helped to, to liquefy this blood. Now, I'll, I'll remind you that we have um, different kinds of EKTOM device um, based on the extremely high frequencies. The most often used one is um, this one, which is the basic. Um, Ekatom device, which has 11 different modes. We can also we also have the Ekatom Mini, which has three modes. I don't have it at hand now, but uh, it looks the same, but a bit smaller. And we also have the we also have this um, Ekatom Air device. It has only one mode, the background resonance radiation mode. So um, as for the oscillators, we have uh, four colors. The basic one is yellow. Each basic set of, uh, of the Epitome device now includes four yellow oscillators. And um, the yellow oscillators are most basic ones. They are multifunctional and can be used in case of any diseases because the range of um, their frequencies is quite large. It is from 4.9 to uh, 7.1 millimeters. The other oscillators are meant for dealing with special disorders. The red oscillator works with the frequency 7.1, and it, its main purpose is to work with the immunity. When a person has lowered immunity, it can be used. Um, for, for example, when a person suffers from long-term chronic diseases, um, or when um, the person has increased um, aggregation of erythrocytes in their blood or ischemia. The green oscillator works with a frequency 5.6, and um, it can be used in case of erosion and wounds. And the blue one works with a frequency 4.9 and um, works with platelet diseases like ischemic heart disease, uh, thrombophlebitis, and so on. These are just some most common examples. Of course, each oscillator has more functions. But um, the, the thing is that the yellow one is multipurpose and other ones are used in special conditions. So now I would like to say a word about application of the EHF therapy in most common situations for treating disorders we face very often in our everyday life. First of all, the ketone is often used for treat, treating pains. It can be any kind of pain, including the headache, 
and it can be pain of different origin. So when we are treating pain of any origin, we are using the red, the green, or the yellow oscillator. We usually apply it to the area um, where we feel pain. It can be head in case of headache or any other place. And we use the background resonance radiation mode, which is second mode of the um, AKTOM um, pool, or the usual AKTOM, and, and the, the second mode of the um, AKTOM mini. The duration of treating um, the patient in case of pain is one minute um, of active mode, um, or what uh, after one minute the frequency of the painful place of this pathological area will be recorded and you can just attach this um, oscillator to the painful zone and leave, keep it there. Uh, you can also um, attach this oscillator to the reflexogenetic reflux, reflux, zone, um, the projection of a big joint, or um, to the area of accumulation of vascularization, like elbow, knee, large occipital opening, in the middle part of the sternum or um, carotid arterias, arteries. In order to be able to apply the oscillators to different places, uh, we, we put four um, yellow oscillators to every um, set of, of the AK tone. So you can use a few oscillators at the same time. The AK tone is also used for increasing immunity, which can as a consequence, you can prevent uh, the occurrence of diseases. And, and um, that's why um, people who ca catch a cold very often or suffer from different infectious diseases also use the um, EHF therapy. One of the reasons is um, improving the immunity. So in case of immunity, we work with the acupuncture points. There is a special mode in the AKTOM, um, which is the 11th mode. It's, it is, it is de designed specially for working with the acupuncture points. The duration of treatment is 6 to 12 days, and the time of application every time is uh, 9 to 15 minutes. As for the regime of treatment, we can do the following. For example, we can um, apply the oscillator um, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to uh, points uh, GI4, E36, uh, and I12 and uh, to three other points on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So we can do it in turn. We can apply those later in turn to different areas. As for the acupuncture points, you can see them here. So so here is the uh, G, uh, GI, GI, GI4 is here on, on the hand. Uh, E36. Mm. Mm, here, E36 is on the leg. Mm. And um, I, I12. Or uh, VC12. Mm. It's uh, here on the sternum. So, mm, and uh, the rest uh, of the points are here. M MC6, it's um, well, anyway, um, you, you can see these points here, and uh, um, just uh, you can apply the oscillator to three special points during three days of the week and to three other points during other um, days of the week. And, uh, um, in, according to your condition, uh, to how severe it is, it, the treatment can last from six to 12 days. Not, um, another um, very common area of application of the frequencies is um, um, application of it in, for treating different kinds of otolaryngological diseases like rhinitis, sinusitis, or or, or um, So the mode which we use in this case is a background um, the, the second mode, um, background resonance radiation mode, and the oscillator is yellow again. So we um, record the frequency of the maxillary sinuses, which is here uh, on the side of our nose, and then apply the oscillator to the, to, to the wrist and keep it there for one minute. 
So it's basically, it's like this. You put it here and then apply it to the wrist. Uh, then the epitome is also often used for treating the diseases of the muscul uh, musculoskeletal system, in any kind of diseases. And um, the main um, effect, it can be explained by the analgesic effect of the EHF waves. So you can reduce the pain you feel while suffering from these diseases. And also it's immunostimulating and regenerating effect. The EHF therapy can be used uh, for treating such diseases of the musculoskeletal system like osteochondriasis, arthroarthritis, deforming osteoarthritis, and also different lesions of small joints and uh, of, uh, on the feet and hands. As for the regime of treatment, in case of these diseases, you um, can apply it um, to the sternum area um, and to the joints. Um, uh, but uh, most of the time we apply the oscillator to the sternum area, uh, no, to, to the joints most of the time, two thirds of the time, and uh, one third of the time we apply it um, to the sternum area. So here you can see the zones where you should apply the oscillator in case of the um, diseases of the musculoskeletal system. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, so the duration of treatment is 10 to 20 days as the time of application of the oscillator is each time is from 15 to 20 minutes. It depends on how severe the disease is, and how acute the syndromes are. And um, another interesting method of treatment mm. is uh, the so-called three paths method. It is a method of treating pains in the spine. In this case, we use the blue on or the yellow oscillator and we work with the mode one of the okay, basic AKTOM okay, device. As, as for the regime of treatment, uh, we apply the, this therapy for one or two times a day um, for five days. After five days, we make two days break and um, after that, repeat it for five days, then do um, today's break again. And the duration of the whole treatment should be three, three weeks. So uh, as for the procedure, it is the following. We um, start at the occipital hollow. We put the, for example, the yellow oscillator there in the first, uh, or, um, in the first mode of the basic aketom or the third mode of the aketom mini. So we start here on the occipital hollow and we move uh, the, the oscillator very slowly uh, for tw two minutes. So in two minutes, it should reach this place. Uh, this is um, approximately one and a half centimeters from the coccyx. So this is a very slow movement, which takes you two minutes. Once this is finished, you do the same on the right and on the left. Um, so that you cross the so-called transverse processes here. On the right, um, when you do the same movement and it should take you one minute and a half. After that, you do the same, but on the other side. Um, and uh, this is a very efficient method which uh, helps you to treat any diseases of the spine, any posture, postural problems, for example, or pains in the spine. Uh, so um, that's all I wanted to tell you today. These are the most basic cases in which you can apply this device and um, you can do it at home. It's like a pocket medical clinic. So if you have any questions, go ahead. I have a question for the arthritis or the back pains. Um, first, like, when do you have a manual that comes with the AK Tom that's going to let you know what points to add it to or to place it for how long? Uh, are there or these findings based on clinical trials? And if so, do you have those available so that we can learn with you know more examples? Uh, would you like to get some information on the research which was carried out here? 
Mm -hmm. I can send you some very boring information, just some statistics, how the ketone was applied in case of different diseases. We, we have this information. Unfortunately, it's in Latin, but I can translate it to you briefly so that you know um, like widely, widely used in different, uh, for treating different diseases, and we have re medical reports on it. Yes, yes. And uh, the second part of the question was... Um, hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. All right. The second part of the question was, um, you mentioned for one of the cases, you would put it on certain acupuncture points. Uh, does the AK Tom come with that information to know which acupuncture points to use, or is that a separate thing that we have to obtain or learn? We don't have it in the AK Tom manual, but it is the common knowledge. So the acupuncture points are the same. For all kinds of therapies, so you can. And I have just shown you some schemes. Yeah. Send it to you, but there is a lot of information on the internet on the location of the acupuncture points. So we work with the common acupuncture points, which are generally known. Nothing new. So if you have any understanding of the acupuncture, it's actually the same. It's another kind of influence, but it's the same therapy. For the uh, mus muscle muscle skeletal system uh, protocol, what is the mode and what color oscillator do we use? We can use the yellow one and also the blue one. And uh, we use the first mode if you have the classical ketone. I don't know if you have the classical one or the mini, but. Very good. First mode. But you can use first this mode. one if you use this um, classical epitome, the first mode. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Um, I have a question. Um, last time uh, about AK Tom also. Um, I, we were told that we can do for a maximum of 30 minutes each day. Mm -hmm. um, but in some of the uh, suggested protocol today is like uh, one minute. So um, one minute and 30 minutes is a big difference. Um, 30 minutes is maximum, um, maximum time which you can use um, the, uh, the oscillators in the active mode. So, um, I mean, you can use, uh, you can wear the oscillator all day um, on the place of pain, but uh, in the passive mode, in the background visual radiation mode. Um, but uh, the, the 30 minutes per, per day of the active mode is just the limitation. You can use less, but not more. What is passive mode? What is active mode? Oh, yeah, uh, I mean, the, the, uh, there is only one passive mode, which is background resonance radiation mode. So, um, for example, you can use the usual, the, this, but also the usual locator. You just click, um, click on this button, and for one minute it's blinking. Because for one minute the information is being recorded from your pathological cells. And after, uh, so for one minute it is active. And after that, it stops blinking, it stops producing the frequency, but it emits the frequency of your cells, which it has um, recorded. So in this um, mode, when it is not, doesn't produce its own frequencies anymore, but it repeats your, the frequencies of your body, um, I call it passive mode, um, just to make it easier. So in this mode, you can use the oscillator um, for all day long and nothing bad will happen. But in, in this active mode, when it produces the frequencies, it can be used up to 30 minutes per day. So any other mode except for this second mode um, is also limited by um, 30 minutes per day. Um, uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the basic, the basic mode uh, you mentioned is the BBR, right? The passive mode is the BBR. Well, the background resonance radiation, yes, the, um, it is one of the basic modes. Um, just other ones have other purposes, but this one records your uh, your own frequencies, or it records any records uh, the frequencies of any other object. So 
this is the mode which every, um, every Akitom device has, including this one. What is the um, thing you're wearing on your wrist? Uh -huh. This is the Akitom Air. It is, um, it, this device has only one mode, this background resonance radiation mode. So it is the simplest version of the Akitom and it is mostly used also for different purposes, for killing pain, for um, in increasing your immunity, and also for protecting yourself from the influence of uh, electromagnetic fields. So it is just a, a device you can wear every day for your everyday protection. It is the simplest version, which is uh, the most convenient to use. Can you set the frequency or the frequency is set? Well, here, in this case, there. Um, there is no set frequency, but it works with your own frequency. So uh, it records the frequency of your body. In other modes, mm, the oscillator emanates special frequency. But in the second mode or in the background uh, resonance radiation mode, it mm, records your frequency. Understand? It's a very interesting device. Oh, it is. <laughs> it okay, Tom. Say it again. We got the AK Tom, but do not have the uh, the blue thing. Um, how expensive is the blue thing? Uh, the Keton Air. Mm. Yes, it's only not only blue. We have it in other colors too, in yellow and, oh. red and red. But it's, uh, it's, it's just the design. Mm. Um, we cannot hear the dollar amount. It's very broken. Can you repeat again oh, how okay. much that is? So we have this bracelet in other colors, in red, in yellow, and in black, and in blue. But it's, it's a question of design. It doesn't have any difference. But if you already have the Echitom, the, the regular one, this means that you also have, have this mode. It is the second, the background resonance radiation is the second mode of this Echitom. So actually you can um, achieve the same effect by clicking on the second mode of this a KTOM device and uh, on attaching the oscillator to your body. Just um, this watch is quite convenient to use in everyday life. That's the only difference. But the, the effect is the same. The oscillator which is inserted here is this basic yellow oscillator. Um, I think this is a very versatile uh, product and I think it is more easily marketable than AK Tom because if you just focus it on um, protection from the electromagnetic radiation, this function alone, I think it is, uh, makes it a very marketable product. Mm, it's true, it's true. It's just, it looks cute, it's convenient to use really. This one, mm, the basic AK Tom is actually a medical device which you, you can use, it's more professional, you can use it to treat diseases. And this one is more for protection, for feeling comfortable in everyday life. And um, yes, it's, it's a great thing. <laughs> mm. also, oh, how much it is? It's around 30. You will, see, you will find all information about the prices, prices in our um, online store, gdvplanet.com. So we will always put actual uh, current information there, including all discounts and special offers. So it's better to check there. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a question about the life uh, of the device. Does it have, um, does it stop working after a certain amount of time? Do you need to reset it? Or is it kind of like the translators that as long as they're not broken, they will work? Nothing, is, nothing will happen to it if you don't damage it physically. It just, you, you, sometimes you need to change the batteries because it has a battery inside. But the oscillator will function and nothing will happen to it. It will, the influence will be, oh, yeah, you shouldn't put it into the water, for example. If you, you put it into the water, it can be damaged. Mm -hmm. Just any electrical device shouldn't be put into the water, but the oscillator too shouldn't be put into the water. I think we had some case when one of our clients had a dog and the, the dog beat the oscillator so it stopped working. So if you physically damage it, uh, of course it might um, 
become defected. But if nothing happens to it physically, it will work in even in many years. Okay, any other questions? Now. Okay, um, can I say that in general, the bracelet help um, support a person's energy system? And because of that, it kind of will support the person's immune system uh, and in, enhance the overall well-being of the person. Can I, can I say this is the function of uh, the bracelet? Yes, uh, that's that's right. Mm, that's exactly what it does. It mm, improves the general well-being. Uh, so the person, people who suffer from headaches, say, say that they um, don't have um, the headaches anymore. People who suffered from colds um, say that they don't catch a cold very often anymore. And if they do, they recover quicker. So um, this device enables you to improve your immune system. And also the protection from elect electromagnetic field is um, an important function. Of course, it doesn't prevent you from the, getting the influence of the electromagnetic field, but it helps you to fight with the bad consequences. So yes, it is just for improving the quality of your life, um, for making you feel better in your everyday life. Two more questions. Um, number one, do, are there any scientific um, research to support the use? And second question is, if a person is sick, can they wear it? Uh, yeah, um, so as for the first question, um, are you interested in the scientific explanation of the mechanism or um, in manuals how to treat particular diseases? Uh, both. But one more thing is, uh, a lot of people will say, do you have any evidence to support your claim? So are there any clinical research to show the effects or the benefit of, of the uh, bracelet? Uh, yes, there is. Um, the bracelet is based on the same uh, frequency, oh, the same okay. resonance, resonance radiation mechanism, which is used in other EHF devices. But um, as for the research, there was uh, a lot of research uh, which proves that um, this technology works, that the EHF uh, therapy treats different diseases. But as you know, uh, the bioresonance wasn't recognized yet uh, scientifically because um, we know that there is this influence, that there is this um, effect, a medical effect, and it's, it's proven. But there are still discussions of how, on how this mechanism works. That's why. It's, um, as for the explanation how it works, there are still different hypotheses and it's uh, still not, there is still no one explanation. But as for the research uh, regarding the effect, it is proven and there is a lot of research if you want, we can send some materials to you. And the second question, um, what was it? <laughs> Remind me please. Um, any, you asked the second question. Yes, our question was, can it be used by a sick person, any kind of sickness? Yes, yes. Usually it can be, um, there are almost no contraindications. So the ketone uh, can be used in, for sick people too. It's actually used for different um, illnesses. Uh, just there are some contraindications. For example, if a person is a is in a very unstable state, if it's in uh, some disease is in an acute state and it is not very, um, it's not stable and it's not very clear what's going on with the organism because um, when, um, and in case of very serious disease which uh, threatens the life of the person, it is not recommended because when the organism has no energy at all, um, most probably this, um, uh, this technology will not produce effect. The organism needs to have some energy. So in, in, in just some acute, very acute situations, in, in them it is not uh, it is better, better not to use this device. Also, pregnancy is kind of a contraindication, but it is, um, in Russia, actually in Russia it is used for pregnant women, but in the European Union it is more complicated with the laws. That's why here it was not um, recognized um, for treating pregnant women. So it's also kind of a contraindication. At least um, it's uh, recommended to be careful in this case. 
-hmm. Can I ask one more question? Yeah. Um, if it is all about frequency, uh, can I attach it to a glass of water? Mm -hmm. And will the glass of water be affected by its frequency? And if I drink the glass of water, will I benefit from it? Yes, exactly. You can, the ketone is used for structuring water, among, among other things. So in this case, we use the same mode. We can use the, actually, actually the ketone air is also okay with it because it's the second mode. But uh, other modes can be used too. Uh, so yes, the ketone, you can just put an oscillator near uh, the glass of water or near the bottle of water, um, switch on this background resonance mode for one minute and then um, keep it there for tw 10 minutes. And for about, uh, during about 10 minutes, the water will be structured. But we also have a special device, which is a ketone activator. Uh, next time we, we can make a special presentation about it. Um, actually, it's, uh, the, the technology is the same, but it is more convenient to use that device because it, it is attached dire directly to the bottle of water and um, there is direct contact between the oscillator and the water okay. or any other liquid. Even, even food is, is being structured with the um, extremely high frequencies and uh, people, the users say that the taste of the water of, of any drink or any food improves after using the frequencies. They kind of mm, help you to open the flavor, the flavor of this food and drink. Uh, Sounds wonderful. Mm, this is more, mm, I think this is more subjective if, if the taste has improved or not. Mm, but um, this, um, mm, th this technology is used um, uh, widely for structuring the water. Mm, this is a fact. Even, even animals prefer to drink the water structured by um, these frequencies. Or it is, it is also good for watering plants. So it's good not only for people, but for any living beings. Mm, yeah, and any other questions? Susanna, you want to ask? Because yes. we're about to finish. Yes, uh, just following up on the counterindications, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned already the pregnancy, which was one of my questions. Mm -hmm. But what about babies? And what about somebody who may have a pacemaker, like in their heart, or anything internal, can that, um, can there be a dissonance or some kind of distortion there or something that can cause a counterindication? Uh, well, um, it is, uh, there, are, there are no contraindications for people with pacemakers because there is no such, um, you know, it's, it is a low intensity device. So it has, there is no um, contradiction between the device inside the body and uh, in this ketone device. Uh, it is used for people with, with pacemakers. And as for children, it is also used for children. So uh, no contraindications. So no minimum age required. Marko, nevíš, jestli v nějakém manuálu je napsáno, že je nějaké... No, já viděl jsem zatím nikde nějaké zmínku o minimálním věku. Yeah, we have no, uh, no, even in manuals there is, uh, it's, it's not written that there is any limitation in age. But you know, even in case of pregnant women, it's not that it will damage them, it's just for prevention, just for, just in case. Because it, it should be, um, the treatment to pregnant women is usually more, um, just more careful, that's why um, nothing bad will happen, but um, it is said that it's not um, supposed to be used during pregnancy, just in case. So, um, yeah. In manuals, it's not mentioned that it shouldn't be used for children. It's okay. Okay. Um, in, in last question, and then we, we will finish for today. Okay, last question. Maybe yes, me. Good evening. Um, <clears throat> to, um, um, in, the, in the manual for Akatom, it is written something about the physician's compendium. Do you know where I can get it? Mm -hmm. No, but we can check it for you. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. that's all. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let's finish for today. Thank you for coming and uh, we will welcome you at our next presentation next Thursday. We hope to see you again. So, bye bye. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. Thank you.